Howdy! This is Differentiated Learning Objectives from Pillar 2, Personalized Instruction from the Raising Blended Learners Implementation Continuum. Let's take a look at Personalized Instruction, which is Pillar 2. This means students are offered a variety of learning opportunities to master standards according to differentiated learning objectives, dependent on students' level of mastery, and frequently receive feedback about their progress. This pillar, personalized instruction, has four strategies to help guide teachers to implementing a personalized instruction experience. The four strategies are varied learning experiences, differentiated learning objectives, individual feedback from teacher, and leveraged technology. We are gonna take a deeper look at differentiated learning objectives. Differentiated learning objectives means that teachers use differentiated learning objectives based on students' level of mastery. Let's take a look at what that looks like at the four implementation levels. At the beginning level, the teacher uses the same learning objectives for all students at all times. Differentiation has not been introduced at this point. At the developing implementation level, the teacher sometimes designs learning objectives that are differentiated to facilitate progress for different groups of students. So differentiation is starting to happen. Groups of students are getting different learning objectives to work on. At the practicing level of differentiated learning objectives, the teacher frequently designs learning objectives that are differentiated to facilitate the progress for different groups of students based on students' level of mastery. So now the frequency is picking up. The teacher frequently designs an opportunity for students to work on the objectives that they need to master for groups of students. At the achieving implementation level of differentiated learning objectives, the teacher almost always designs learning objectives that are differentiated to facilitate progress for different groups of students based on students' level of content mastery. And the added piece to this is the teacher makes sure the lessons are engaging and challenging for all students. So what that means is there is a almost always opportunity in the instructional period or class structure for students to have some time to work on objectives that are identified that they need to master based on data. And the teacher is making sure what the students are working on for their differentiated learning objectives has the rigor that it is challenging for what they need, but also engaging. That is differentiated learning objectives found in Pillar 2, Personalized Instruction of the Raising Blended Learners Implementation Continuum.